Right, so let's talk about the Olympics today. I mean, the Paris Olympics is in full swing and you may be following the performances of uh, athletes from your countries. And uh, I have very fond memories, personal memories of the Olympics. And that's because sitting before you is an Olympic medalist, Olympic medalist journalist. Yes, you heard it right. I was awarded a gold medal by the International Olympics Committee for my coverage of the Games in Athens in 2004. There is that piece of accolade. You can see nicely covered. And the other side of this. This, you can see this. This is nicely covered here. You can see that. And the other side of this. And then there is a piece of um, uh, this uh, this certificate as well. Uh, the certificate uh, reads, in recognition and appreciation of your contribution to the success of the Games of the 28th Olympiad. And signed by Jack Roger, who was then uh, the president of International Olympics Committee. And uh, Gianna Angiolo Pulos uh, da Sakalaki. Uh, who was the uh, president of the Athens 2004 organizing committee for the Olympic Games. So here's the story. The BBC had sent hundreds of journalists, as they always do, uh, to Athens in 2004 to cover the Games. Most of these journalists either worked for BBC Five Live Radio or BBC Sports. I used to work for the BBC World Service, which is the international facing uh, the service of the BBC as its international roving reporter. I was one of the three international journalists from the BBC to be selected to cover these games. Mind you, uh, getting accreditation for these games uh, is incredibly difficult, even for the BBC, which is the official right-holding broadcaster. Mm. So I was one of the three journalists from uh, international journalists to be given uh, to be asked to cover the games, uh, with the other two being from the Chinese service, BBC Chinese service, and the African service. I was essentially representing South Asia. The BBC was saving a lot of money and resources by sending me to Athens. So it wasn't doing any favor. That's because I could broadcast in four different languages, namely English, Hindi, Urdu, and Bengali, as well as contributing to BBC online services. So um, uh, it was a good value for money that, uh, you know, uh, by sending me, BBC was saving resources for three other journalists. So here I was frequently filing reports and interviews in four different languages of the World Service radio, uh, radio programs. I was also making frequent appearances on domestic BBC radio stations, including Five Live Radio, and I also wrote analytical pieces focusing on the performances of the South Asian athletes. Soon, I was asked to make a daily appearance on BBC World TV's Asia Today program, which used to be presented by Nick Gowing. This is where I would analyze the performances of South Asian and Chinese athletes on global TV every day. I think uh, this used to be between 3.30 and 3.40, a BST, which is a British standard time. I had a brilliant time covering the games. I have covered many sporting events for the BBC and other commercial media platforms in my journalistic career. This includes uh, the 2002 Commonwealth Games, the 2003 Cricket World Cup in South Africa, uh, the 2022 Birmingham Commonwealth Games and Wimbledon Tennis Championship for 12 years in a row. But my stay in South Africa, uh, I stayed in South Africa for over a month in 2003. And the coverage of Olympics uh, uh, in Athens will always top the list of my global escapades. Athens was special because this is where the Olympic Games were born. I had the privilege to visit Olympia, a place not far from, from Athens, where the first Olympic Games were held. I was fortunate to go to Panathinaikos, the venue for archery in 2004. This is where the first marathon race was run. According to legend, Greek fighter uh, Fidifides ran from village marathon to Athens 
uh, to deliver the news of Greeks' victory in a war thousands of years ago. He ran for over 25 miles, delivered the news, and then died. That's the legend. And that is what you know started the trend of marathon. So if you look at the distance of modern day marathon, it's exactly the distance that he had covered between his village in Marathon and Panathinaikos in Athens uh, several thousands years ago. Anyway, coming back to my own Olympics medal story, um, apparently the IOC was very impressed by uh, my unintended efforts of spreading the values of the game far and wide in different languages and on multiple platforms. So Jack Roga, who was the then president of the IOC and uh, Gianna Angelopoulos Daskalaki, who was the president of the Athens Olympics Organizing Committee, decided to confer me with this amazing honor. This remains one of the biggest highlights of my journalistic career till today. That's my little moment of Olympics glory for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, because that's one of the many ways you can support independent journalism. God bless you all.